Come with me for a ride around one of the greatest events in the world. I've just jumped the Shogun Hollow where Rutherd Glen got a little deep to the second corner. And with galloping away from this fence, the thing that I wanted to do was just give him the confidence that yes, that was good what he did. The next fence is the KBIS bridge. Very big, very wide, and we only have one line to gallop on. There I just hold to the stream, turn into it, and you cannot go left or right there. Albeit it's, it's wide on approach, you've only got one line to jump. Then we run across a bridge here where there's shavings down. The horse doesn't even notice it. Now a very big jumping effort. Jumping onto this bank is just a big effort where they have to jump up, take off straight away. It all happens very quickly. Big fence feels like a nice gymnastic exercise. Then over the Rolex Trocaner, who's just got a little deep there. Good boy and I felt him make a big effort, so I just rewarded him by saying good boy, because this was also quite a steep pull up here, and I just didn't want him to exhaust himself on that pull of about 100 meters, because now is one of the biggest fences mentally for the horse. I've actually timed it, and from the fence that he is about to jump, and you see the next two logs that he has to jump after get running into the water. It all happens within six seconds. From takeoff over the first one to landing over the third one. And so mentally, I feel this is just enormous pressure for the horses because he does not know what he is about to do. The horse does not walk the cross country course. They have to trust the rider. And here, Rutherd Glen is one stride away from taking off. He will jump the first one. There is a very steep slope into the water. Then you've got two strides in the water to jump the log in the middle, a really acute angle, and then three strides to the next fence coming out again, which is a really acute log.